Hi, I'm um, Harry. I'm the editor in chief of Rheumatology, and I'm talking to you today about peer review. And basically, what we're looking for in a peer review, and what a good peer review is, is always to do with have you know what is the gist of the paper, what is it trying to say, what it is specifically trying to give, and how much it will impact what the knowledge is about the subject. And we're looking for, in a review, to, is the first top level, is this important, is it interesting, will people take something from it, will it change practice? And then the other bit of the review that we will look for is specific comments about what has been written. And we usually ask for major bits of information, like major topics that need to be addressed. And then you look at minor topics that need to be addressed, like, for example, typos and little errors and inconsistencies within them. And if you manage to do that, then a review would be quite highly, uh, quite highly acceptable to us. And we always rate those reviews very nicely. And we are very grateful for anybody who does any reviewing for our journals. We've got a lot of people that, that will review for us. And peer review is very important to make sure that what we actually put out is of sufficient quality. So if I was given a paper and asked to peer review it, I think the first thing I would do is actually take, take a look read the entire paper from beginning to end and then put it away and have a think what has this paper told me what has it tried to address has it addressed it properly have they used the right population to answer the question and then I would go back to the paper again and read through it in a bit more detail and see whether or not what was done in the paper was articulated well enough in the paper so that anybody who reads it can understand what the researchers have done and importantly if anybody else wants to come and reproduce that science, they can actually go and reproduce the same results using the, a, a different population. And that is quite important. And it's very frequent that people will be writing to me about papers I published many years ago and say, when you actually did this research, can you tell me exactly how this went and how you administered the questionnaire or how you actually did the analysis? And I think that's important that that gets articulated in any paper that is written so that if you can then go back and find that your own population has is very similar, you can never reproduce that analysis and actually say it does work or maybe it doesn't in my population. Um, if you've been invited to peer review for the first time, I think we ask as many questions as you would like. Make sure you understand what the paper is trying to address. Make sure that the population or the, or the subject matter has been covered and make sure that nothing has been missed and if necessary you can always go to the internet and find other articles that are the same and see whether or not all of the articles that are actually being covered in the paper that you've had. Reviewing an article is very frequently something that you would probably try and spend at least you know reading the article for 10-15 minutes to half an hour. I'm a bit old-fashioned I tend to print them out and then look at them in a bit more detail, have right things on the side and then put the review in. Uh, and then you then have to be able to say, would this be consistent with the readership of the journal? Would it be interesting to people who read this? Would this advance things and how, you know, how quickly would you want it to happen? Um, peer review training is actually something that's very interesting because nobody actually gets trained in peer review. It's very frequently your, your senior colleague says you know you should really start to review the paper or actually if you submit a paper on a topic you very frequently will be said oh they've published on this and that's how you will be reviewing things so hopefully if people want to be trained in do, doing review we will quite happily provide some either on, online resources or if you approach any of the journal um, staff we can actually provide that if you would like us to do so um, Peer review is actually a very interesting and, and something that should makes you able to read a paper and to read science and interpret it very carefully. So I think all researchers should have some amount of peer review. And now with publons and other ways of actually rewarding reviewers, people will be able to look at it. And uh, we encourage everybody to go and have an ORCID ID and to be able to sort of like show that they've been able to peer review other things. And it will be quite an interesting way of looking at it. Um, Recognition for peer review is occasionally not something that people will look at, but uh, in the UK, for example, we have a system of appraisal, and in the appraisal, I, I very frequently, for example, will put in how many papers 
I have reviewed and say this is how much stuff I have looked at in the year and this is how many articles I have handled and it's just an element of what you do and I think it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in it would be quite good for you to be able to show that in the last year you've actually contributed to the science uh, of your specialty especially in rheumatology.